All right, Ian, back back in the uh, the saddle. First off, how is the elbow feeling? I watched the match with the, at the Southern Scuffle and uh, looked like you might have popped your elbow again. Yeah. How is the elbow feeling? Uh, it feels good. It just came to a point where I know I need to start wrestling and uh, suck it up. So. I got a brace on it right now. It feels good. When you look at the uh, last year, kind of it was the same thing last year. Was it the same elbow? Same elbow, yeah. Same elbow, you know, it's just kind of the same uh, same injury then. It's the mm -hmm. same elbow. But uh, last year, it was just kind of like I remember the match versus Missouri and Edinburgh. You know, mm -hmm. Gresheimer and Love Alley, and you just, you almost, uh, you wanted to take an injury time at one point, and Coach Anderson was like, no, Russell. Mm -hmm. Is, have you had some moments like that this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just, they just tell me it's just a, uh, uh, the elbows don't bug me, so I just need to wrestle through it, and I think I've uh, started doing that better. No structural damage or ligaments or tendons or anything? No, no. I uh, just took some time off. Now I'm just getting strong again. Uh, Coach Andrews, he says you're the type of guy that, that needs the occasional break. Yeah. Um, do you feel really re refreshed and rejuvenated when you come off a break? You did it last year, mm -hmm. you know, and it was legit. You know, you defaulted from a match. Last year, you defaulted from the match against Smith, Central Michigan. Mm -hmm. This year, against the Drexel guy at uh, Scuffle, you don't... Defaulted is, after. The match. De you defaulted after, but you right. finished the match. Right. You did it first period. Is that, a, is that a difference from last year from this year to this year? Yeah, I knew I, I was on a default. Like, I already defaulted to DMOS this year, and I, just, I, hate, I hate losing that way. I mean... When, uh, when you know you can go out there and win and then you end up taking a loss, I mean, it sucks. So I knew I had to finish the Drexel match and uh, just get out of that match, get the win, and then, then go from there. So Here's a thought in my mind. I was watching the match in Hawaii with my Uncle Jeff, and I know when I get hurt, I most generally don't like to try double overhooks to a back arch step around. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was with that? I was trying to get a pin. I wanted to get off the mat so bad. Like, I was doing a lot of dumb stuff to try and get a pin in that match. You, it, it, it was costing me a little bit, but I came out with the win. It was a new eye. Uh, I heard the crowd. Uh, yeah. we, we were like, why Why would he do that? But you wanted out of the match. Um, something where you say uh, you're not the best at. You turned it up in a match like that. and uh, top. It, On top. Yeah, talk about your top game. Where, where's, what's I mean, going on? I've been working on top probably more than I work on my feet. Uh, so when he picked down, I was, I was really excited because he was his choice on my uh, – my injury time so he picked down so I knew I was gonna get a turn and get some points out of that. So does that give you confidence on top you think? Yeah definitely. I'm way way stronger wrestling on top now. Alright. Why do you have this? What what is going on? What are you doing with this? Why why is that in your possession right now? I mean we just beat OU so the grudge match is uh it's coming back to my house and I'm hanging on my wall, putting on my mantle. You are right now you are uh two and one against Ohio U talk about the rivalry you know you and Sparty Sparty's yeah he's a you know a seasoned vet two-time into qualifier tonight you came out and you just you took it to him um on top once again took it on top went from a half to a pancake to a cow catcher and you right. transitioned to it uh did you know you have it were you that confident coming out yeah I mean uh we, I've wrestled him a lot and uh, I know I know uh, how he wrestles so I mean the first couple couple 30 seconds of the match we were just feeling each other out and then, then we started turning it up, and that's when, when people wrestle me, that's when I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to do some work. So and then I got on top, and uh, I put my top game to, to the test. So. Is that something where you think you've jumped another level on top? Yeah, definitely. Where does that come from? Uh, just constant me and Hill. I mean, I, I'm not going to do all the flashy top moves. I mean, like you've seen tonight, I'm going to go back to the bitty, bitty half and uh, just power people over. Bitty half and arm bars. I mean, that's to the basics so if Matthews wrestles for Edinburgh on Sunday what can we expect to see I don't know do you even know who he is no I have no idea who he is he's top 10 guy okay Austin Matthews if uh, you get to wrestle a guy like that is that is that a good test for you great yeah um, this year when you came back uh, against South Dakota State and Missouri two matches there you know you're, you're starting to put together quality matches and quality wins mm -hmm. um, having so few matches advantage or disadvantage for you I mean my body feels good but uh, I like to get matches so I'm not gonna ever run from somebody so you don't run from anyone no one you sure about that sure uh, James Green gets beat by Doug Welch Purdue did you see that I had no idea no idea I, dude, do you I, live in a cave I do not get on Twitter yeah I tweet at you never tweet back yeah. For that matter, I text you. You never text back. Yeah, I mean, I like to. When I'm home, I like to shut off and I don't think about wrestling. No phones. I I try not to. All right, you got anything else for me? No, not much. All right, buddy. Congratulations on the win, big pin tonight, and uh, let's see that grudge match. That's good. There it is. Ian's got the grudge match. Congratulations, Ian.